Have you ever wondered what it takes to be in the top 10% of net worth for each age group? You know, the people who seem to have it all figured out financially? Well, the truth is, the net worth for those in the top 10% is surprising and probably not what you'd guess. In this video, we're going to break down exactly what net worth would qualify you as part of the top 10% according to a study by Business Insider. But more importantly, we're going to talk about the small moves you can make starting today to put yourself on the path to building real, lasting wealth. My name is Chris, and I teach people about money, personal finance, and investing. If you're interested in improving your financial future, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if this video is helpful. Let's get started. All right, let's talk about the 18 to 25 year olds now. You might be surprised to hear this, but the top 10% in this age group have a net worth of around $66,000. I know what you're thinking, that's it. But here's the thing, a lot of young people are actually starting off in the negative because of student loan debt. Think about it, loans are money you owe, and they can really put you in a hole right out of the gate. But here's the good news, you have time on your side. At this stage, the name of the game is avoiding debt and saving every penny you can. Even if it doesn't seem like much, those small amounts add up over time. Trust me, getting into the habit of saving early is going to set you up for massive success down the road. Just focus on the fundamentals, get a handle on your spending, start saving consistently, and avoid those high interest credit cards. You've got this. Now let's fast forward a few years to the 26 to 30 age group. Here, the top 10% are sitting pretty with a net worth of around $143,000. By this point, a lot of folks have started to pay down some of those early debts, maybe it's student loans or that car loan from college, plus they've had a few more years to climb the career ladder and boost their income. And this is where the magic of compound interest really starts to kick in. You see, when you invest your money, it earns interest. But here's the cool part, that interest then earns interest on itself, and so on and so forth. It's like a snowball effect for your money. So, if you can manage to sock away around $20,000 per year during this period, you're going to be way ahead of the game. This is also a great time to really hone in on your career goals. So, for all of you in your late 20s, this is the time to really put your foot on the gas pedal and build some serious momentum towards financial freedom. All right, let's move on to the 31 to 35 year olds. Now we're talking about a net worth of around $260,000 for the top 10%. By this stage, most people have landed in a career path and are starting to see some real progress in their careers. That means a more stable income and hopefully more money to put towards their financial goals. And speaking of goals, this is the time to get serious about home ownership if you haven't already. Building equity in a home is one of the best ways to build long-term wealth. But even if homeownership isn't in the cards right now, that's okay. The important thing is that you're consistently investing your money in assets that will grow over time. Whether it's the stock market, real estate, or even your own business, find what works for you and stay committed to the process. Remember, building wealth is a marathon, not a sprint. So for all of you in your early to mid-30s, keep up the great work. You're building a solid foundation for your financial future and the best is yet to come. Age 36 to 40, hitting your stride. The top 10% in this age group are looking at a net worth of around $464,000. By this point, you've been in the workforce for 15 to 20 years, and you've likely seen some significant career growth. That means a higher income and more opportunities to save and invest. And if you've been following the advice we've been talking about, you've also been consistently investing your money and watching it grow over time, this is the time to really start thinking about your long-term financial goals. Do you want to retire early, travel the world, leave a legacy for your children? Whatever your dreams are, now is the time to start putting a plan in place to achieve them. So for all of you in your late 30s, you're hitting your stride financially. Keep up the great work and don't be afraid to dream big. Age 41 to 45, Home Stretch. The top 10% in this age group are sitting pretty with a net worth of around $722,000. You're getting close to that million dollar mark. By this point, you've likely built up a good amount of equity in your home and your investments have had even more time to grow, but this is not the time to get complacent. In fact, this is the time to double down on your financial goals and make sure you're on track to achieve everything you've been working towards. If you haven't already, now is the time to sit down with a financial advisor and create a comprehensive financial plan. A good advisor can help you assess your current financial situation, identify any potential roadblocks, and develop a customized plan to help you reach your goals. 
So, for all of you in your early to mid-40s, you're in the home stretch. Keep your eye on the prize, and don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it. Age 46 to 50 peak earning years. The top 10% of 46 to 50 year olds have a net worth of around $1,173,000. By this age, many people are in their peak earning years. You've got years of experience under your belt, and you're likely in a senior level position with a salary to match. And if you've been diligently saving and investing all this time, your nest egg is looking pretty healthy. This is the time to really start thinking about your retirement lifestyle. Where do you want to live? What do you want to do with your time? How much money will you need to support your desired lifestyle? Once you have a good understanding of your retirement goals, you can start making adjustments to your financial plan as needed. So for all of you in your late 40s, congratulations. You've worked hard and made smart financial decisions, and now you're reaping the rewards. All right, let's talk about the 51 to 55 year olds. The top 10% in this age group have a net worth of around $1,224,000. By this point, your investments have been growing for so long that they're practically on autopilot. Even if you didn't contribute another dime, your money would continue to grow at a healthy rate thanks to the power of compound interest. This is the time to really start enjoying the fruits of your labor. You've worked hard your entire life, and now it's time to relax a little and enjoy the finer things in life. Take that dream vacation, buy that boat you've always wanted, or spend more time with your loved ones. So, for all of you in your early to mid-50s, congratulations! You've achieved a level of financial security that most people only dream of. Okay, now we're talking about some serious wealth. The top 10% of 56 to 60-year-olds have a net worth of around $2,456,000. By this point, your investments have been compounding for decades, and the results are truly remarkable. This is a testament to the power of long-term investing and the importance of starting early. Even if you didn't start saving and investing until later in life, it's never too late to catch up. The key is to be consistent with your contributions and to make sure your money is invested wisely. This is also the time to start thinking about your legacy. So, for all of you in your late 50s, congratulations. You've achieved a level of financial success that most people only dream of. All right, let's talk about the 61 to 65 year olds. The top 10% in this age group have a net worth of around $1,958,000. This is the age when many people start transitioning into retirement. They're no longer contributing to their savings and investments at the same rate, and they might even be starting to withdraw money to cover their living expenses. But even though their net worth might be slightly lower, they're still in great shape financially. They've got a comfortable nest egg to support them throughout their retirement years, and they can finally relax and enjoy the fruits of their labor. This is the time to travel the world, spend time with loved ones, and pursue all those hobbies and interests you never had time for before. So, for all of you in your early to mid-60s, congratulations. You've reached the pinnacle of your financial journey. Now, I know what you're thinking, Chris, those numbers seem pretty high. I don't know if I can ever reach that level of wealth. And you know what? You're right, those numbers are high, but here's the thing, you don't need to be in the top 10% to live a comfortable and fulfilling life. In fact, there are plenty of people who are perfectly content with a much lower net worth. The important thing is that you're financially secure and that you have enough money to support your desired lifestyle. But if you are serious about building wealth and reaching the top 10%, it's not impossible. It just takes hard work, discipline, and a little bit of luck. Here are a few tips to get you started. Start saving early and often. The earlier you start saving, the more time your money has to grow. Even if you can only afford to save a small amount each month, it will add up over time. Invest your money wisely. Don't just let your money sit in a savings account earning next to no interest. Invest it in assets that have the potential to grow over time such as stocks, bonds, and real estate. Listen, I know talking about money can sometimes feel overwhelming but I want you to know this, you are in control of your financial future. It doesn't matter where you're starting from, what matters is that you're taking action and making progress. Remember, building wealth isn't about luck or hitting the lottery, it's about making smart choices consistently over time. It's about having a plan and sticking to it, even when things get tough. So, if you're ready to take control of your finances and build the life you've always dreamed of, hit that subscribe button and let's do this together. I'll see you in the next video.